Okay guys, Oliver here, co-founder at Landing Page guys, and we're gonna get into another landing page audit live from within the lab. Uh, do not forget, if you are watching this on YouTube or somewhere else on our blog, and you are not yet a member of the lab, it's 100% free to join. Make sure you get in there. If you're watching these videos and you're thinking, how can they audit my landing page for free? This is how you do it. You go to landingpagelab.com, or we'll search for Landing Page Lab on Facebook. It's 100% free to join. It's a brilliant group. We discuss all sorts of optimization tactics. We're on the forefront of conversion rate optimization, as you know. So make sure you go and join that now. Alternatively, if you're watching this video right now inside the lab and you want to keep up to date with all of our content, we do far more than audits. We're always dropping uh, lots of kind of gems and golden nuggets for free about how you can. Uh, really optimize your landing pages, then make sure you head on over to YouTube, search for landing page guys again, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As you can see, there's lots of content. We're dropping kind of two, three videos a week at the moment, um, and people are really seeing the benefit. Speaking of benefit, people are really benefiting from these audits. If I audit your page, please, all I ask you is you take action. I'm not saying you have to uh, reach out to us or pay anyone. You can do most of the changes yourself. Please take action. We've had stories as as of last week of people two to three xing their conversion rates just from our free audits. So there's loads of value here, but all we ask in return for doing these for free is that you take action and report back to us with the increase in conversion rates because you will see some increase in conversion rates and that's what we're all here for. Um, some of you have been asking about mobile, having a look at mobile. We are starting to look at the mobile. I'll be doing the same here. Um, we had an influx of requests this week. Um, we had over 20 to 30 people request a landing page audit alone this week. So uh, we are going to break that down. My other co-founder, Andy, is going to be doing some. So if you're not uh, within this video, you, we will get to you eventually. Um, and thanks for your patience. But as I said, we take our time out of our day here doing 50 to 100 projects a month at Landing Page Guys to give you this value and these audits. So all we ask is that you implement it. As ever, I have my tool, trusty tools here. Uh, two trusty tools. Builtwith.com is going to tell me exactly how your landing page or website is built. And then tools.pingdom.com, most importantly, is going to tell me how quickly your landing page loads. So let's get into it. Once again, subscribe to us on YouTube. Hit us up at landingpagelab.com. But let's start on the first page. Now, as ever with these audits, as you know, I do not look at these pages before. I want to get the kind of real life um, effect on this. I want to see it as a, a cold traffic consumer would see clicking your ad or you know clicking an email. So I give you my first impression. Um, first and foremost, uh, we can see that this looks to be a uh, repair and soothe your hands, a, a cream after tough workout. Um, so we've all had that kind of problem if you go to the gym where you get calluses and you get tears on your hands. So this is a really cool product. Um, I'm again just going to run. I can see that it's actually built on Wix. Uh, looks like Dan's done this site on Wix. So let's just run it through to uh, prove that. And then we'll take it through tools.pingdom. I mean, I haven't actually done much with Wix. So I mean, we don't touch Wix, but as in seen many pages built on Wix, so I'm not entirely sure what their load speeds are like. Um, but just to mention why load speeds are so, there you go, Wix, load speeds are so important. When it comes to paid media and you're driving paid media to um, to a site, uh, load speed is, is really, really crucial because you're going to see uh, a huge, huge increase for every decrease in second uh, seconds in load time. So let's see what this loads at. I'd be interested to know, um, again, what Wix, how quickly Wix serves. To typically, landing page builders like ClickFunnels, uh, Instapage, Langingi, they do load your pages slow. That's why we strongly advise against using them if you're doing paid media. Um, yeah, like this is a, a very heavy loading site. Almost five seconds, you should be improving that. Now, how do you do that? Um, first and foremost, let's get those images compressed and any videos. So have a look at that report in detail. Go to tools.pingdom.com and make sure you have a look at how you can uh, fix the, the errors. But again, I, I'd recommend downloading this quite heavy images like the background image, this image, uh, this video, um, all these images in the background and such. I'd recommend downloading them, Googling free image compression tool, running them through. Uh, make sure that they're compressed and then re-uploading them and your page will load clicker. That's just an instant thing you can do. But having a look at the page from an aesthetic point of view, um, we always obviously come in with our conversion hats on. 
when I load on this land on this page above the fold, uh, there's a few major things that stick out to me. And uh, I actually do know Dan, Dan's a friend, and he has uh, watched some of our videos, so I can see that he's implemented stuff, uh, but there's still some, some big improvements, which is good. That's that's the good news, Dan. Um, so I think I've seen this on another browser, and top left, you, you do have a logo. Um, so it is missing that logo for some reason. Wix isn't serving that. I'm on Chrome at the moment, so have a look into that. So you do need your logo. Um, there's a nice visual of the product. Um, I'd, I'd like to see maybe some more images if they can allow it. Again, I don't know Wix's uh, functionality, but uh, you might want to have some uh, some kind of more product pictures just under here, and then when you click them, they, they come on here. Um, it, it seems as, as if you're stuck within a template, and what I mean by that is it looks quite thin, like you've got massive gap here and a huge gap here. I think it would be better spread out um, across the page vertically a bit better. Um, and I'm gonna point out uh, some clear kind of uh, things that you can optimize. So you've got repair and soothe your hands after a tough workout. That's a really, really good uh, headline. It's benefit driven as we always say, so that's good. However, I would hugely recommend putting this up onto two lines. If you can put this up onto two lines and have it come out a bit more, instantly all of this pulls up. Um, so that's really good. You've then got your uh, bullet points. Move the price, by the way, below the bullet points, but you've got your bullet points, and let's have a quick read through them. 100% vegan and natural, instantly soothes and moistures, leaves no sticky residue. Okay, fresh and natural smell, handy size, take everywhere. Okay, these are quite cool, really good bullet points. Again, they're benefit driven, so that's good. What I would um, recommend is you bolding some of the keywords, like bolding, vegan, whatever you think is most important to your consumers, bold those words. Um, leaves uh, something like no sticky residue, bold, uh, fresh, natural, bold, a hand size, I really like that. Handy size is a good thing, so put it in your kit bag or you know your shorts or whatever. Um, and then recyclable packaging, that's nice. Some of these can be done in a um, in a trust seal and I probably would do that instead. For example, your recyclable packaging and your 100% vegan and natural, I would put in like a seal up here. So if you just Google like vegan seal or vegan friendly seal and recyclable seal, and what I mean by seals, if you don't know guys, they're the small little round circles that you see on landing pages, um, like money back guarantee kind of thing. So I would remove those two and put them as a seal up here uh, so they stand out a little bit more um, and, and they, they they make more point of them and then add just another point here so you've got five points down here make sure you bold them again move this text move the price to the buy button um, the text the buy the price should always be supporting that buy button so move that text to the buy button just below uh, above the buy button and make this visual. I, I understand why you've done it. You've done it so that it says, you know, was and the gray is was, so it's in the past, so it's kind of a gray color. However, people will miss that and then they won't get the value of what you're doing. So what you want to do is maybe make that um, was a kind of bit brighter color, maybe even the white, but strike it through. I think you probably know what a strike through is. It's when you've got a line through it. Um, so strike it through and that gives uh, the uh, the whole kind of thing of was and now, okay? So put, put those prices uh, like that. When it comes to your call to action button, um, it's not descriptive enough and it doesn't stand out enough. If you're just scrolling really quickly, that button just doesn't stand out. So you need to make this like a green color. I think green would look really good against all the different colors. Your call to action button should always stand out. So make this a green color. I like that you've uh, obviously watched our videos and put an emoji on the button. However, I would just have one. So just on the right hand side, I think two looks a little bit um, possibly cheap. So make that a green button. Put one emoji, add to cart. Uh, again, that call to action isn't strong enough. It should be something like grab mine now. I think grab's a really good connotation for this because it is gym related and gym, you tend to like grab and pull and push. So like, I think those strong call to actions would be good. So grab mine now would work really well. And again, I like the cart, but I, I think just far as a conversion perspective, the uh, right hand pointing emoji, let's get it up, uh, pointing. Uh, emoji tends to convert best to so this one. So switch out, I would recommend switching that out for this pointing emoji, okay guys? We've never ever beaten this emoji, it always converts the best. So again, green button, white text, pointing emoji, more descriptive call to action. These buy seal, payment seals are great, really, really good. Um, I'll have a look if some of the other pages have got better examples of these, but these are fine. And then your testimonial. Now, at the moment, your testimonial kind of appears above the fold, but it doesn't because of this. Now, I believe if you pull these up to two lines, you can fit it here. But if you can't, if you can't get more images, move that testimonial to this big gap here so it appears above the fold. You want to make sure that all of this, including Lucy's name, image, and the stars, 
appear above the fold. So make sure it goes here or put this on two lines if you can. I don't know what limitations you have on um, Wix, but put it put it above the fold. Um, what else I would do as well is add some form of scarcity above the fold. So home contact online store and login. I would hide these personally above the fold. They're not important. You don't want people to contact you. Um, you want to do all that selling on the landing page. Uh, online store, this is your store, so why wouldn't people need to click that? Login can maybe stay up there if you want repeat clients, but that, all of those links can go in the footer if needed, and I would instantly get rid of these social icons. The reason we say that, Dan, is because people will be clicking these icons, and then what are they going to be doing? They're going to be uh, scrolling through Facebook, um, looking at Ben Hazeldean's um, pictures, and get lost, and uh, yeah, they'll, they'll never come back to your landing page, and you don't want that to happen, so get rid of any distractions. Clear these, clear these. The only thing you are also missing above the fold is some form of scarcity or some form of like uniqueness. So what I would do is maybe add like, if you can on, tool, on, on Wix, add like a toolbar, like an orange toolbar and put something like, um, because I know this is a new product, put something like limited run, uh, grab yours now while stock lasts or something like that. Um, or you might want to do that on the price thing. So like, you know, uh, beta, beta product price will increase or um, just some form of scarcity is missing above the fold. So something that kind of makes people alerted to wanting to buy in this in a rush, if that makes sense. Scrolling on down. So we follow that ADA principle. As I said, I know Dan's watched our videos, so I think he has implemented that. So that's good, um, which you started to do here, which is good. You've got a video that's piquing my interest and then you've got that kind of one, two, three. Um, this, this section is good. I would, okay, so one other thing above the fold, you're missing some trust. So let's say you're, you've already done a deal with some CrossFit gyms or type, some certain types of gyms or influencers. Um, I know you guys know some big gym guys. Put their logos uh, just here. Okay, so just here. Put something like trusted by and then CrossFit gym. Uh, someone who's a, a, a famous gym person and put their logos here. Then you need to pick my interest. So this video should actually go below this section. So have the hand salutation uh, in just three easy steps. That should be here, okay? Then you have one, two, three, and these need titles, okay? People don't tend to read this text, so they need titles. I also feel this text may be better in white, but you need titles as, as uh, above. So kind of like this size font, you need like one, order, order now, two, uh, what's big right now is obviously contactless, delivery because of what the pandemic we're going through. So something like contactless delivery and then three, um, you know, repair your hands or something like that or, or care in your hands or whatever it may be. So one, two, three is you're doing the right thing. It just needs to be here, uh, second section and you need those clear titles, then put your video underneath that and then have your call to action. Your call to action should remain consistent. So make this again, green, white text emoji and the same text as above the fold, grab mine now, or whatever that may be. All these buttons should say the same. Then you're going down to peaking my interest a bit further with the features. So this is good, uh, good for wounds, good for burns, anti-aging. Okay, so you're kind of showing me the ingredients and the benefits of those ingredients. That's good. Then we go on to that desire section. Um, I would probably put another call to action button here. Desire section is good. The one thing I'll say about this desire section is all of your images, and I know you take these pictures and they're great, but they all look very, very similar. So what people instantly ascertain by that is they say, oh, we can't trust these images because they're just stock, because they're professionally shot. So the more authentic your image is, the better this is gonna convert. So what I suggest you do, okay, so here you go. CrossFit Bali, CrossFit M MPG and Ox House. These logos should be here and say trusted by, okay? Now, the more authentic these look, the better. And I know that's kind of goes against um, your photography, Dan, because it's brilliant photography, but you just want people taking a selfie with the cream, the pot of ham cream in their hands, so it's more believable. Anyone who doesn't know that you're a good photographer is going to come onto this page and think, yeah, these are all just uh, stock images. They paid these guys for these images. They're not real reviews. Um, and also, your text is getting lost on the background a bit. Okay, so you need to work out how you can make that stand out more. Uh, maybe... Uh, have a darker opacity like this on the background or maybe just fill this in with a solid color. You don't always need images in the background, maybe just change it to a black background with white text. That would work as well. Um, but you, these need to be more authentic. Also, I know you have good friends in this industry. The more videos you can get of people, like I say, just on their iPhones with your product in the hand, just going, hey, you know, I bought this from uh, Wad Repair. It's really um, treated my hands and, and, and now I can work out more without having huge calluses. Uh, it's such a great product, something like that. So you need some videos down here as well. 
Then you've done that, done that desire section, so you go bang into that last call to action. So I'm not gonna comment on this because um, again, everything that I said above the fold applies to this section. Uh, you wanna switch it up a little bit so it doesn't look exactly like the above the fold. Um, the only other thing I think you're missing is an FAQ. So you need to enter an FAQ, and why do we do that? We keep repeating this, the reason you do an FAQ is because the questions that uh, people are going to answer you before buying, you want to give them to, to them on the landing page. You don't want to give them any excuse to ask you a question or go away and think about it. So things like, you know, how long does it take to ship? How much do I have to buy? How long till, till I see the effects? Like thinking you have to get into the head of the consumer and think how, uh, what questions are gonna be asked uh, and how can I prevent someone from clicking away from my page or wanting to get in touch with me? Just give them the answer and make them buy. Hopefully that's helped. I know you haven't done a mobile version, so I'm gonna skip that and let's go on to the next one whilst I have a sip of my water. Okay, growth, cool. So if anyone doesn't know about growth, um, just go to usegrowth.com. They're an incredible local lead generation company, the best in the UK um, if you want local lead gen. But these guys are super cool guys. We work really close with Sam and Rob. Um, so just gonna have a look, quick look at their page. Uh, I know Sam said that he followed one of our previous audits to get this page up and running and it's converting really well. So that's great, but let's have a look at what else we can do to increase this. Get 20 plus uh, page blueprint outlining everything you need to know to use paid ads to generate leads to and clients to your local business. Okay, that seems a little bit long winded, but I get it. I understand what you're saying. Um, it's again, it's kind of benefit driven content, which is good. Um, I feel like it should be pulled up more. So I think this logo should go top left here. And then you've got all this space to pull everything up because your fold doesn't have your form doesn't appear above the fold, uh, and I'm on quite a big, um, quite a big screen. So put this logo top left, pull all of this text up, and then I would shorten this to two lines. So um, I think personally, 20 plus page is a turn off because I'm of the mindset of someone who wants information now. I don't want to scroll through 20 plus pages. So I would just put something like get the revolutionary blueprint. Uh, that gives you everything you need to generate leads and clients to for your local business. So they don't need to know right now that they they need to, they want to do it through paid ads. Um, they just need to know what the benefit for them. The feature is that you're telling them how to use paid ads. The benefit of those paid ads is it's going to generate leads and clients. So shorten that to two lines, pull it straight up, uh, and that's going to convert better. Okay, without needing any prior technical experience whatsoever. Okay, that's fine. Um, so pull all of this up. You've got social proof here. Again, like we say, make sure you add a picture to this. If, if this was me, I would pull this up, I would pull this up and I'd pull this up. Uh, then I would put maybe the testimonial below. And then instead here, I would put something like some uh, secure seals. So like um, so this is secure, a secure form, we never spam you, something like that under here, get instant access. So I would put the testimonial like maybe here, make this a little bit smaller and just put it underneath and pull everything else up. Um, the one thing again you're missing, you've got your social proof, you've got your benefit driven headline. Um, you might want to put some bullet points, but I know you've got the, the picture here, visual here, which is great. Um, I would test putting your your actual picture of your um, blueprint on here, you know, your, your printout one you did. Um, but you need a real person ass assigned to this, this, uh, this testimonial as well. So yeah, the only other thing I think you're missing above the fold is similar to Dan is that form of scarcity. Um, so maybe just put a toolbar or navigation bar across the top that says something like, um, you know, uh, we're only giving away another 93 copies. And then if you can make that count down, uh, I think you're using ClickFunnels. Let's have a look, I didn't even do that. So let's have a look what you're using. It looks like a ClickFunnels page. I'm not even sure if uh, you can do that on ClickFunnels. Very limited, um, as we know, which is why we don't recommend it. But uh, let's just, sorry, if I go back here. Okay, it doesn't like the look of that page. Okay, so your low speed's not bad. I mean, actually, for, us, for a page that small, it should be quicker, it should be a lot quicker. To look into optimizing. I don't know. I'm guessing this is on ClickFunnels anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I would just add some form of kind of urgency, um, some some form of toolbar if you can on ClickFunnels, like I said. Okay, so going down, um, it's just, it's quite a, it, it's good. I like this. I just think you're, again, missing some of the key elements that we kind of preach 
that one, two, three step is missing. So this may be a section you can add here. Like it's as easy, uh, you know, generate leads in one, two, three steps. One, download uh, the PDF. Two, read it, uh, read through it in your, your own time. Three, master, master the form of getting affordable leads to your business. Okay, so maybe you need that section, then a call to action. Um, that again, there's no desire section. So now that you, I know you lads have run this, there's gonna be some feedback. So get some authentic reviews of people who've read this PDF and applied it uh, and put it on here as well. You need that section. Then, you know, this, this is fine. So that one, two, three, then you go into this because this is more about the book. Then you have that desire section where you get people with reviews. Then you need like an FAQ, you know, uh, how long does it take to read? Do I need money to implement? Um, that, that kind of thing. Uh, your shorts are way too short here, Sam, as well. Uh, <laughs> not that that's going to kill your conversions. And then that call to action at the bottom. So hopefully that all makes sense. Sam, I know you've been following our audits for a while, so I know it will do. Um, but I think there's still, even though it's converting really well, I think you can get more conversions from making those changes. Okay, moving on to the next one. So this looks just like an opt-in page. Uh, again, I'm viewing these pages for the first time. Um, I don't see them before because that would be unfair for me to make a judgment. I want to see them as if I would see a consumer. Uh, we do hundreds of audits a week for uh, a month, sorry, for our paid clients. So um, this is the way we always do this. Uh, let's have a look at your load time and what you're built with using my trusty tools. And this break is giving me a great opportunity to remind you if you are watching this inside the lab uh, and you are not yet subscribed to our YouTube, head on over there, subscribe, hit the notifications icon so that you get an email as soon as we drop a new video. As you can see, there's so much good content on here and we're constantly dropping videos. And if you are not inside the lab, it's 100% free. This is how you get a free audit. If you're watching this video thinking, oh, I want these guys to do an audit for me. Like I said, people are two, three X their uh, conversion rates just from a free audit. Um, and this is why conversion rate optimization guys is so important because what we say to people is, imagine if tomorrow you could spend a thousand dollars on Facebook, drive your traffic to your current page and make $500 back. Well, imagine if you could spend the exact same thousand dollars the next day, but make a thousand dollars back. And that's what the power of uh, landing page optimization is all about. So you are built with, unless this is a, a rest day, okay. So convert kit, okay. And your page load time is fine. Um, so a very simple opt-in page. Okay, uh, again, I am very, very honest and brutal as people know on these landing pages um, because there's no point me uh, messing about. These are free audits, so I give it to you how it is. Um, this page is really, really bad, um, and I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, first and foremost, you've got a huge gap here. You need to pull all of this up. This image quality is awful. You need to get a very good image here. Um, and I can't really clearly see from what you're telling me your value proposition. You're telling me I am the best parent. Congratulations on understanding the need for preschool education of your kids. Early childhood education experts advise that two to three age, okay, experts suggest that your curriculum should be activity-based, which focuses on skill development, focus, feet, okay. We offer free session to help understanding these 15 key areas. Okay, so even from reading your synopsis, I don't really know what you do. I think you're gonna give me a free session on understanding the 15 key areas of early childhood education. Um, so that's what you need to call out here. Okay, this text is boring. So what you need to do, you need to have a very clear headline up here that says something like, um, uh, uh, we need to make it benefit driven. So give me a second to think about this one, guys. So 15 key areas of early childhood education. Okay, uh, your, your, childhood, your, child, your child is getting the wrong education. Um, let us guide you on how they should be educated. Something like that then a supporting headline, then take this and turn it into hard hitting bullet points, okay? So um, 15 key areas of early education, uh, free session, but you need to go again on the benefits. Free session um, allows you to choose the best preschool, set your child up for life, give your child the education they deserve, those kind of things. That's what you need in the bullet points. So you need to get that value proposition across straight away. Otherwise your drop off and bounce rate is gonna be so, so big. And to me, it just doesn't clearly say that. Then you need some form, again, I'm gonna take this as a short opt-in page, so that's how I'm gonna keep it. But you need some form of uh, social proof. So you need like five stars and a testimonial from a parent who's already taken their ch child through this. So you need a testimonial of someone saying, you know, I, I, I had a free session, and now my child is getting the education she deserves or something like that. Um, then we're going on to your form. 
uh, register below to book an appointment. Okay, so we've got first WhatsApp, email, book an appointment. We respect your privacy, that's fine. Okay, so these need to be inversed. People will not know that these are fields. Um, so you need to make this white, this whole field white with black text so it's, it's people can clearly see it's a form. Um, you need some form of trust on here. So we respect your privacy, this is fine, but maybe put some uh, opt-in uh, seals here. So like SSL secured, secure form. Uh, we don't test your data. It's clear that you're probably using a free version of Power uh, Convert Kit, which is fine, but as soon as you can get rid of that because this just doesn't look good. Um, but yeah, you're just missing the basic principles. I understand if you want to keep it above the fold and keep it a short opt-in page, but you need that clear value proposition with a strong headline, subheadline that's benefit driven. You need those five bullet points. Uh, then you can go into the, we offer a free session. Um, register below, that's fine, but make this form stand out more with white fields. Um, and then also those trust seals as well, because you're missing trust. And this image just doesn't work. It's, it's very poor quality. So you need to switch that up as well. Um, this is probably why you're low time. Okay, it's not too bad, uh, but you need to work on that. I'm just gonna go back to this page just to have a look at what it looks like on mobile, as everyone's been asking about mobile optimization. Okay, let's have a look. Cool. So the key things with mobile, guys, everyone is always um, asking us, what do we do about mobile? The most important element of mobile is the above the fold. And the most important elements that you need to get in above the fold are headline, some value proposition. So whether that's done through bullet points or it's done through like a headline, a sub headline. So people need to instantly know what you're doing. Um, the form or the call to action and some form of social proof. Now people get hung up. They say, well, how can I get this whole testimonial, my whole form, my whole headline, everything above the fold? It's just as much as you can. Now, Sam and the guys at Growth here have, have almost done it. I've told you, you need to shorten that headline. It needs to be shortened. So you need to get that on two lines, which pulls everything up. Therefore, then your form fits above the fold. And if you say, for example, you can't get a whole testimonial above the fold, you just need to make sure you have these five stars. So I would personally, under Growth Logo, put the five stars on mobile and put something like uh, rated five out of five by thousand plus downloads or however many downloads. That's enough social proof above the fold on mobile. On desktop, you need that whole testimonial, but on mobile, that's enough social proof. So just having five stars and that kind of five out of five rating is enough. Then you have your headline. This needs to be short, as I said. Then you have your form. That form is perfect, that's great. So I would get rid of this review, not get rid of it, but you don't need that above the fold. So let's say this was above the fold. If this is two lines, you can easily get that five gold stars in and that uh, rating. So that's what you wanna do. And then the second most important thing on mobile is just reducing the clutter. Get rid of all your padding, all your spacing, which these guys have done quite well. Um, mobile optimizing, I would bullet, again, I would bold some of these key bullet points, especially on mobile. Uh, make sure everything's easy to uh, easy to read, but it's just all about um, yeah your spacing and padding and making sure you don't have to scroll too long to get those call to actions. I don't even do it on ClickFunnels, but sticky buttons on mobiles work really well. Moving on to the next page, just have a sip of my drink. Okay, so Maker Kids, we've seen this before. I know we have, but it was a different page. Um, and I'm going to say what I said then. Uh, you are losing money driving me paid media to non-direct response pages. And for everyone who doesn't understand what I'm saying here, this is what I'm saying. What naturally happens when you pay for someone to click on your ads and they go to a page like this, is they don't even read this page. They won't even scroll down. What they'll do, they'll start going like this. Oh yeah, okay, oh, in-person pro, oh, Facebook. Okay, I'll click onto Facebook. Oh, register. Like there is so many distractions on this page. You've got a live chat as well. Um, like they will not stay on this landing page. You'll get huge bounce rates. You'll be paying for clicks that won't convert. And that is the problem when you're driving uh, paid media to stores, product pages, websites, blogs um, that aren't direct response. So I can't say it anymore, but you need to pull this out into the direct response page. Um, otherwise it's just not gonna convert. But let's have a look uh, what it's built with. I think it was WordPress last time. Okay, so your load time's not too bad, but you still can improve it. Have a look at this. Okay, it's still on WordPress, cool. But as I said, um, you need to you need to do that. You're, you're losing money, but I'll give you a few pointers on uh, your, your kind of pages you have it now. So award-winning live coding classes. That is, that's a cool headline, but it is again feature driven. You need to tell the benefit to the consumer. So what is this going to do for my children? I can see it's like a, a child, um, uh, 
child-led coding course, which is really cool, especially in these times when people are home educated. Um, it, will, it will do really well. But you need to flip that to something that says something more like um, set, your, set your child up uh, for a, a future in coding with our award-winning classes or something like that. Like, that's the benefit. The benefit is that my child is going to learn something that they can use forever. So, you know, set your uh, skills for life for your child with our live coding, award-winning code classes. The award-winning bit is great, but it's a feature. So you need to make sure that sticks out somewhere else. Just put like a seal up here or something that says award-winning. Above the fold, you've got the video. That's fine. That's not a problem. Uh, but you have zero call to action above the fold. You have zero social proof. Um, so that's something you need to get in right now. Put a testimonial below this of this girl and say like, you know, she, I took the course and now I can code and, you know, I, I think I found my new passion in life or something, whatever it may be. You've got your bullet points, so that's good, but let's have a look. Build a positive relationship. That's good. That's a benefit. Continue learning, socializing. Okay, but what is the benefit of them learning, socializing? Be engaged while learning in-demand STEM skills. Okay. It's as easy as one, two, three. So you've clearly listened to my last audit, which is great. Uh, however, you haven't uh, done it in justice. Like, this is great, but this is, you need a completely new section. This is what needs to be here. These are good. You've put the featured in. Um, think are these linking ah, okay it's on a thing so these are good you put the featured in that's really good so you've got some trust proof in there uh enroll now i it's, it's okay call to action but again it needs to fit above the fold so you need that enroll now button above this fold um again i would try an emoji on it and you need some social proof so you need those five stars and a testimonial from someone above the fold Scrolling down, again, I think this should be the one, two, three thing. You've got it here, but you need to make it a new section that says that's similar to this, like it's the easiest one, two, three. Um, and I've told you this in your kind of last video, so hopefully you know what I mean. Uh, again, your form just doesn't stick out. This just doesn't even look like a form. People aren't going to fill this in um, because it just doesn't even look like a form. So you need to turn this into a proper form. Um, testimonials, that's good. I like that you've got the desire section now. This is fine. This is way better than what you've had. So this will uh, convert better. And then you've got call to action down here, which is again, very boring and plain. You need like a, another value proposition above the, uh, like you have above the fold, you need some benefits and then another call to action. I also think you're still missing that kind of FAQ. I think there's gonna be a lot of questions from parents um, about a product like this because it's not exactly the everyday product. It's not like you're selling, um, you know, an air freshener. It's, it's something that's unknown. So you need that FAQ section on here somewhere as well. Um, so between this and uh, the last video I did for you, I think there's lots of key pointers. Having a look at this on mobile, like you guys asked us to, um, this is again why on paid media, this page won't convert. Because look at, the, look at the gap you have before, you're already pretty much halfway down the screen before you even get your value proposition or headline in. Um, this whole section is just wasted because you're sending it to a, a website. So the page should really start like this, okay? So you've got your award winning, this should go on two lines, pull everything up. You've got your bullet points, these are good, but you're still missing a call to action and those five stars above the fold. So make your logo smaller, put it here, get rid of all of this, pull your, your headline and everything up, and then have your five stars and your call to action button. The video can go below that. Then obviously it's all about padding and spacing. Look at the gaps here. You've got massive gap here, massive gap here, massive gap here, gap here. People are just gonna get bored of scrolling. Huge gaps in between these, you need to reduce these. Uh, and you need more call to actions down the mobile section. So put a call to action button in between certain things so that people all have one fixed to your, uh, fixed to the screen at the bottom. Again, your form's just gonna get missed. It's white on white, people will just ignore it. They can't see it. They don't know that it's a form, it looks like an image. So you need to make sure this stands out somehow. Um, testimony is okay, that's fine, uh, and then this. So yeah, lots of improvements to be made, but again, I strongly recommend you do a direct response version on a, uh, a dedicated landing page. Okay, moving over to my last one on this video. As I said, guys, if you have submitted a audit, we will get to it if you're not on this one. Um, we just get so many requests now, uh, it's hard to kind of keep up, but we break them into uh, different type, you know, different slots and Andy's starting to do some as well. So we will get to it. So let's have a look at this last one. Looks like it's a product page. I'm guessing it's running on Shopify by the looks of things. Um, might be Wukong. No, Shopify. So let's have a look at your load speeds. <clears throat> so one thing again, I'm going to uh, stress on this page is that you are running traffic to what's kind of 
known as a product page, and I'll explain that in a second. Let's have a look at your load time. Okay, so quite slow, and you can optimize. So have a look at into your compression, have a look into your images, um, and, and just run that. If you have a developer, send this to a developer to speed things up. Um, but yes, you are running to a product page. So what I mean by that is you have a store, you then have products, and then you have an inner product page, which is this. And this is completely the wrong thing to do. If you want a two, three actual landing page, take it off of a product page and create a direct response sales page for it. We stress this so many times to our clients and to people in the lab and on audits. And the second they do it is the second we get posts like we had in this week, whereby two of our uh, audits that we did for free took these pages onto direct response pages and they 2x their conversion rates. So let's have a look. Improve flexibility, the portable multi-fit bar. Okay, so you should be crushing it right now. You should be absolutely crushing it. Uh, because you are in a pandemic where people could only work from home and these products are doing so, so well. Our clients who had similar products are, are killing it. Um, but let's have a look. Improve flexibility, coordination, balance, chest. Okay, great for yoga. Okay, so this isn't too bad. Um, your headline is okay. Uh, what I would suggest is that you make it a bit more descriptive. I see that you've done this down here, but that's because I'm looking for it, but I'm still looking for that home workout above the fold. So remove this and put it up here. So this should be something like the portable multi-fit bar th that can maintain your fitness whilst working from home or something like that with home workouts, the easiest home workouts or something like that. Um, and then somewhere above the fold, again, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't automatically uh, send traffic to this page because of distractions, but instead of this, I would do. I would touch on that pain point of um, deliveries. That's what people care about right now. They've got money to spend. They're at home. They're doing nothing. What the pain point really is right now is that they don't think that they can get delivered. Um, and I'm speaking from personal experience. Is that uh, shipping uh, any products, but mainly fitness products, they have limited stock, or they take three to four weeks, if not more, to deliver. So if you can deliver quickly, make that your call out at the top. You have qualified for seven day delivery, you know, in your home within seven days or something. That's what's going to sell, not the 50% off, because typically people don't even believe these anymore anyway. Uh, so this, Dan, if you're still watching Dan, this is what I mean by a strike through, uh, where you have your price. So this is what you should be doing here. Where are we? Cool. Okay, so yes, you need a better uh, headline. It should be this mix between these two. Call out that. And then you need that social proof. There's no testimonial, no five stars, nothing that's selling, telling me that you've um, that you you know you sold one of these or that someone's using it. Uh, so you need five gold stars underneath, like Amazon do, and a physical testimonial that just says uh, you know use your metadata that says um, you know I've used this bar working from home in the last couple of months. It's been a lifesaver or something like that. Okay. Color picker, quantity picker, fine. Add to cart button. Uh, again, emoji. This one we can't beat. Put it on the right-hand side of the button here and have a more descriptive call to action button. Just to, to touch on that, guys, we find that things like buy now and add to cart don't do as well as like grab mine now, get mine now, rush my order, lock my order, stuff like that. That does way better. So especially on a physical product where it's that kind of gym mentality again, like rush mine now, grab mine now will do way better with that emoji button. I would personally change the color of pink. It doesn't stand out enough. I understand why you do it. You're probably hitting a female target demographic. All your other uh, style guide and palette is pink, but that's why you should probably change this to like a gold or a green so it stands out against everything else. So change that call to action button to maybe like a green. These are good. You've got those trust uh, seals here. These are perfect. Dan, that's probably a better example of how you do it. These kind of smaller images. And with this, um, you know, just grab this and, and use this instead. Scrolling down, okay, so you've got those kind of um, those benefits. So let's have a look. Build and tone your muscles at home. Perfect. That's a really good bit benefit. Anyone looking for a good benefit, that is it. It's not that this will do your legs, chest, abs, and hips. That's a feature of the product. It's that it will build and turn your muscles at home. Perfect. What I would do is wouldn't bold all of these. Ah, so you have got the five-star rating. This just needs to be here. Okay, so pull this up. It needs to be above the fold. These, I wouldn't bold everything. Keep everything plain text, but bold some of the key words like at home, lose weight, um, improve, prevents injuries. Okay, so these are all good. These are benefit driven copy. Your copy is good. Um, so just pull it up because this will be going. So these will be just here. That's fine. 
Uh, then the, this is the problem with product pages. You've got this whole big white space down here and you can't do much with it. And that's why I hate product pages and they don't convert as well. Uh, but yes, you've got some nice images. You've got benefit driven copy. Uh, I'm not gonna comment too much on this. Again, this call to action needs to change. Have an emoji, rush mine now or something like that. Uh, get rid of these social share buttons. You don't want people clicking away. You don't want people sharing. Then you've got the desire section. The, the reason I'm skimming through this, guys, is because you're very limited when it comes to your product page layout and what goes on it. So we don't comment too much because we feel it's going against our best practices. But there are still things you can do that I've suggested above the fold to improve your conversion rates. Customer reviews, that's fine. But not one of these customer reviews has a picture. So people just think they're bullshit. Honestly, guys, that's what people think. Uh, you need real pictures of real people using this, videos of people using the product. Um, that's going to help dramatically. Uh, testimonials, again, need real pictures. These, these are really good. These, these are trust proof, okay? So these need to be pulled right up. Pull these way up. These should be like up here or here, just below, okay? So don't have them down here. People aren't gonna scroll this far. Pull all of these up to above the fold or just below the fold. You're missing another call to action. You need another call to action section down here. And don't forget that trusty FAQ. Again, you're driving traffic to a product page. So there's so many distractions down here. Um, and these, by the way, are really good examples of those social uh, pay trust buttons as well. Okay, so hopefully that's helped. Let's have a quick look on your mobile. Okay. So there's quite a long scroll before you get to that call to action. So if it was me, I'd make this product image a bit smaller if possible. Uh, and then pull all of this up. Again, you want that longer headline. Um, and then it's just all about, like I say, you've got this add to cart at the bottom, at the top, and we tend to do it at the bottom, but that works. That's good that you've got this, just need to make it more descriptive. Um, you're not bundling stuff at the moment with this, so it, it, it works. You just need more call to actions as you go down the page, especially on mobile. Um, you might want to look into bundling. What we've done on ours, on a lot of our customers, is either upselling or bundling. Uh, multiple products like for example you and your neighbor because people are scared that they can't get the product uh, that works or like you and family members family bundles work really well with fitness products right now uh, but hopefully that's some good little tips guys that's the first lot of the audits for this week uh, hopefully it's helped i want to remind you if you're watching this thinking how do i get a free audit head on over to the landing page lab.com or if you just want some optimization tips and tricks go on over there right now it's free to join uh, and we never sell anything in there so head on over Likewise, if you are watching in the lab or somewhere else and you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, this is how you stay up to date with all these audits and other videos that we are dropping. So let's get in on this and uh, we can't wait to see you on YouTube, inside the lab, or if you need some more help, get in touch at landingpageguys.com. And uh, we appreciate you guys. Hopefully it helps and we'll see you on another audit. Episode.